So this is going to be Merrick Garland Speaks. Let's see what the cards have to say about that. Also, uh, Prince Harry and Meghan, uh, their reputation gets a revamp on their Euro tour. And a little bit about these lawyers who are telling all the states to uh, copy that information for me. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with me. So, yeah, Merrick Garland speaks. So let's draw some cards on him, see how his prosecution is going to go, and whether this is going to be a long-term or short-term situation. Also, Harry and Meghan are trying to revamp their uh, reputation, it looks like, with this uh, Euro tour. So we'll see if that works out. And then I want to talk to about the um, <laughs> Sidney Powell, the Rudy Giuliani, and the other assorted attorneys that have gone across the country uh, on January 7th, it looks like, trying to get the um, battleground states to let them copy the voter information, and they did. Lots to talk about. Merrick Garland, the quiet guy, finally comes out of the um, closet, so to speak, and uh, tells uh, Trump and tells the world, listen, we're making an investigation here, and um, this is serious. We follow the facts. That's all we do. If the facts are something that you're worried about, then you should be worried. So let's see um, what the cards have to say about Merrick, Merrick Garland's success in this uh, Trump uh, Mar-a-Lago. Um, will he actually bring suit and will he win? Will Merrick Garland bring suit and win? And then we'll talk about Harry and Meghan because it looks like they're going back on tour to try and, um, and work something out with their reputation. They're going to be in Europe. They may stop by and see the Queen. They're definitely going to do some Invictus stuff. And um, and there's another charity. I forgot which one it is. And then, of course, we got to see about um, <laughs> Sidney Powell and uh, Donald Trump's other insanity attorneys. Of course, everything he always said. Um, I can't flush the toilet. It takes me 13 times to flush the toilet. Yeah, because he's trying to flush uh, uh, documents down the toilet. Uh, everything that he accused people or of doing, and his associates accused people of doing, they were doing in real time, right then. That's how he works. But before we do anything, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay, let's see. Merrick Garland. Merrick Garland. What in the world is going on there? Will you be successful? Three cards. Will you be successful? Well, let's say three cards. Will you bring suit against Donald Trump? Will you bring suit against Donald Trump? Is that going to happen? Three cards. One, two, and three. Merrick Garland, are you going to take him to court? Okay, the first, uh, this is the government, this is the Hierophant. <laughs> yeah, okay, Merrick Garland. Uh, next card for that is this Ten of Pentacles, which is Happy Family generational wealth oh yeah this is going to go down in the books and then the last card is the <laughs> the wheel of fortune and this tells me that it's coming quick yeah the wheel of fortune is getting ready to turn in Merrick Garland's favor Hierophant the government main card out um, generational wealth yeah this is going to be a lesson that we will value for generations to come and it's this wheel of fortune just tells me that it's time uh, Trump's time is here, and Garland's time is here. Love that. 
Now the next card, we're going to do a full, no, a uh, full dyadic cross on this one. And uh, will he be successful? Will Merrick Garland be successful? Oh my goodness! I'm gonna pick up these cards. Maybe I can cut that out. We'll see. <clears throat> will he be successful? <clears throat> in this prosecution of Donald Trump. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Will Merrick Garland be successful in this prosecution of Donald Trump? Signifier card. Wow. Three of Cups. This is Celebrations. Three of Cups is joyous celebration, and that's the signifier card. The challenge to that, wow, is these lovers. This Two of Pentacles, balancing, trying to find a balance between um, the value here and the value here. So the challenge to this celebration is getting the right balance. The base of this reading, then, is this five, six, seven, eight, ah, strength. The whole thing is strength. The strength of Merrick Garland, the strength of the case, the strength of Donald Trump. Past of this reading, with this Nine of Swords, Nightmares. It has been a nightmare for Trump, and I think it's going to remain a nightmare. Remember, these swords of truth, justice, rules, and law, all Trump's nightmares. In the sky of this reading, we have this Knight of Swords, and yes, so the Knight is the guy who's going to fight uh, for, no, this is the Knight, this is the Page. So this is the Page of Swords. The Page is the one who's bringing this message of truth, justice, rules of law, Swords, uh, to the table. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing uh, with this uh, Page of Pentacles is uh, a message of value. A message of value coming forth. Let's take one more card to see if we get a little more clarity on that message of value. Because we want to know if he's going to be successful. So far, this is in a positive direction. And the final card, yep, a great big ace of truth, justice, and rules and law. You can't get more successful than that. A great big truth, justice, rules, and law. So, yeah, he will be successful. That is terrific to see. So now, let's move on to Harry and Meghan and their revamp tour. So it looks like there's been some reputation repair, some money, let's get it cranked up, that has to be um, in play here. So let's see what the cards have to say for Megan and Harry as to whether their, I'm all fingers today, whether their reputation will be uh, revamped. I'm gonna close the door behind me uh, no, I don't think I'll leave it alone. There's talking going on downstairs, though, and uh, it's a little annoying to me, but it'll stop in a minute, I'm sure. So, Megan and Harry, will this revamp tour accomplish what it's supposed to? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take this one. Six. Revamp tour. Is it going to accomplish that the reputation is going again for Harry and Meghan? Signifier card. Well, 5, uh, 10, 15, 16, 17. This is um, a starry night. Okay. So this is a star. You know, with the star card, it's illumination, but it's through the, um, the film of darkness. So I think, uh, yeah, it will uh, create some illumination. Not to say there won't be some clouds in there. Um, the challenge to it though, again, I love when the cards repeat, this Two of Pentacles getting that balance just right, balancing their value exactly right, and that's the two of them. The base of this reading then, uh, with this six, it's funny, I called lovers on the last one and it comes out on this one. So the basis of this whole thing are the lovers of the Major Arcana. This is them. This is the base of the whole thing, their dedication to each other. That's the base of all of this. The past of this reading, is this 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh man, this is the death card. So, oh, but it's in the past. Okay, so whatever has been going on is not good. It's over. That cycle is finished. We're starting something new now. In the sky of this is the uh, 21, 
This is the uh, secrets being revealed. Uh, not 21, this is 19. Uh, so that's interesting. So secrets being revealed. Very interesting. Up in the sky. <gasps> oh, the books. The book, Harry's book. And then the likely outcome, rejuvenate the, um, the uh, reputation of Harry and Meghan. This is a Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is uh, dealing with um, a, a betrayal. So carrying off that truth, justice, rules, and law, and uh, and dealing uh, with that. So it looks like that's the issue here, getting the truth out about what we ha had before, dealing with that betrayal. One more card uh, for Harry and Meghan, just more definitively, uh, will this revamp tour revamp their reputation, get them cranked up and going. And then the, ah, uh, it's a nightmare. It's, uh, nine of swords, truth, justice, rules, law, the whole thing is a nightmare. Dredging all this up is not going to be uh, something that's as uh, black and white and as simple as you could be. It's going to create a lot of controversy on both sides. So that's that. Now, let's do something real quick, uh, as if these haven't been quick, but something real quick on the um, Donald Trump, the Sidney Powell, the Rudy Giuliani, the other assorted attorneys across the country that are taking direction from Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani. As far as, can you believe it? They were talking about, we know there's uh, fraud here. We know that we don't have any evidence, but uh, we have a lot of theories. And the reason they have a lot of theories is because they hired people to go in and break into those machines and copy the information that was on there. And um, of course, that happened after the fact after the votes were cast and what they expected to do, I don't know, did they expect to jumble up the information and find uh, a way to skew it uh, after the fact? Or um, did they, or and or actually, something that they could save for an, a future election? As well, this was all the elect election uh, information. So let's do six cards on that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So all of these attorneys going across the country stealing election information. Signifier card. This is the Four of Swords. It's Four of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And this is uh, the card that's typically, don't make a move um, at your own peril. Those swords can fall down and chop your head off. That's the signifier. The challenge to it with this uh, number three of the Major Arcana, this is the Empress. So the challenge to this is the Empress. You know who this is? This is the United States. This is our democracy. And this is the challenge to this um, caution. The base of this whole thing with the Six of Swords, you know, the Six of Swords is moving out of troubled water. So the basis of this whole thing, learning about this, prosecuting this, moving it forward, is that uh, we have to move the country out of troubled water. Past this, but we want to know if those attorneys are going to get their comeuppance. Is, ah, uh, look at this. So this is the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is pointless um, uh, new, uh, uh, bothersome arguing, uh, manipulation, uh, fighting back and forth amongst each other, all the attorneys in the past. But what are we going to do to get this thing going? Let's do this. No, let's do that. No, let's do this. No, let's do that. And not thinking about what their next move is going to do to them. In the sky of this, this is the uh, 14. Ah, this is temperance. In the sky of this is finding that perfect balance to um, to um, prosecute these folks. And then the likely outcome of this whole thing is the 15, 16, 17, 18 of the Major Arcana. And I have forgotten what the 18 of the Major Arcana is. So let me pull my cheat sheet out here. And I have to count them down. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. That's the... Uh, uh, hope. Okay, so this is uh, where there is hope. So there's hope that that can happen 
but um, we don't have a definitive answer. One more time, I'm going to go back to the deck to get something more definitive on whether these assorted attorneys will come to justice. One card. And this is the Knight of Wands. Okay, the actions, plans, forward movement. The Knight is the guy who's going to fight for those actions and those plans. We're going to give it our best shot. Okay? The, the democracy is going to give it everything it's got. To make this thing happen. That's what the knight does. He fights for that action. So that's what we got. Merrick Garland, Harry and Megan, and the crazy Trump attorneys. So that's what we got. I hope you liked the video. Um, let me know what you thought about everything in the comments. If you want me to read about something, if you tell me in the comments, I'll read about it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So this Impressionist Tarot, these cards are everything that I've ever wanted in a set of cards except for the quality. And I'll tell you what I mean. The um, box is fantastic. It's a beautiful box. If you gave this as a gift or if you got it as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, somebody really put some thought into what they were uh, giving me. And the guidebook is very useful. It's a full color guidebook with very thoughtful uh, ideas as to the divination of the cards. And uh, the uh, the creators of this are Corrine Kenner and the artwork by Arturo Pica. And so what they've done is they've actually taken impressionists um, that you will know of and, uh, and that you will see art in galleries and um, and use their art to make these cards and um, and so what they've they've taken the actual artwork um, and sometimes uh, Arturo Pica has added elements to the original art to help in the divination or he may have blended a couple of uh, pieces of art uh, from one or two or uh, artists to uh, get to this um, this work here but they're gorgeous to use I love them and uh, I feel like this is just a good way to get the cards mixed up without creating too much damage to them. I mean, some folks like to kind of really handle the cards and bend them and break them in to uh, make them theirs. That's just not what I like to do. Uh, nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do. But uh, this Impressionist Tarot, I'm so happy with these cards. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.